Welcome to Fun Size Fiction. Treat your ears with tiny tales, written and read by Renee Canolti. That's me. And here's this week's story. No business. Thank you for your application, but unfortunately you were unsuccessful. Kayleen archived the email. A memento of yet another place that didn't want her skills. She'd agreed to make compromises, that she'd support her husband's change of career, but she didn't realise she'd end up alone and unemployed in a city where she knew nobody. This latest application had been two levels below the job she'd left, but her resume gave it all away. Why did you leave your last job? Then came the knowing looks. It didn't matter how she phrased it. My husband got a transfer. We decided to move into state. My husband's in the army and we just posted in. It was the same response every time. We're looking for someone who will be with us long term. Someone to be part of the -the fill-in-the-blank family. We don't want to hire a military wife. (sighs) Another rejection. Kayleen vented over a coffee at her local military spouse catch-up. I think I might have the answer to your problem. Are you looking for full-time or part-time work? Julie said. I'll take just about anything at this point. Going stir-crazy at home with nothing to do all day. My house has never been this clean before, Kayleen said. You can come and be stir-crazy at my place whenever you like, the women laughed. Seriously, though, come over for dinner on Friday night. Bring your kids, they can play with mine, and we can have a proper chat. Your necklace is gorgeous, Kayleen handed Julie a bottle of wine and herded her kids into the house. Thanks, I sell them in my Etsy store. I can do mates rates, though, if you want one. I don't really wear jewellery much. Julie poured two glasses of wine and they settled in the lounge room while the children tore off up to the other end of the house. Kayleen filled the awkward silence. Is that a wax melt thingy? It smells divine. It is, Julie smiled. Black raspberry vanilla. I sell those too. She'd better not be trying to sell me stuff all night. I need to make money, not spend it. Kayleen's smile tightened. Lisa will be here soon. She's going to cook us dinner. She wanted to practice a new thermo recipe for a demo next week. Kayleen gritted her teeth. Do you sell them too? Not so much these days. I've got a huge team under me now. So that's more of a passive income stream while I focus on my other businesses. God no, a biz op pitch. The doorbell rang. Come meet Lisa. You girls can chat while she sets up. So nice to meet you, Kayleen, Lisa gushed. Julie told me that you might be interested in an opportunity I have coming up. She dumped a few ingredients into the big metal jug and turned it on. The machine sounded like it was going to grind a hole through the bench. Just when I thought I couldn't take any more, the horrendous noise stopped and she scraped the contents into a bowl. Here's some dip for starters. Look, I'm not interested in running my own business. I don't do sales. I'm not forking out the last of my savings on an opportunity that can't be missed. Oh, I didn't mean that. Julie told me you used to manage one of the disability services before you moved and that you're looking for work. I'm the day service manager at one of the centres here, but my business taken off and I've decided to give notice. The service manager loves military spouses, so if you're interested, I can introduce you. Would you? That sounds perfect. She's hosting a thermi party for me tomorrow night. You should come. Thanks for listening. If you enjoyed this story, hit subscribe so you don't miss my next fun size fiction. You can find out more about me and my writing on my website, heysaidrenee.blogspot.com.